Hello guys, I'm back with a new video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can shoot commercial stuffs for advertisement or portfolios. So for today's video, we have this perfume right here. It has a kind of a strange shape, which I like, and also the color of the liquid inside, which is a uh, kind of oranges. So let's bring all the equipments. Okay, so before I show you my equipments, let me tell you one thing. I know a lot of people come up with excuses like they don't have enough money to buy or um, you know. Uh, even rent such high-end equipments like you know costly cameras softbox backgrounds or whatever uh, studios whatever but the thing is that even i myself don't have enough money to even buy a decent camera like you know i'm shooting this on a smartphone even the final shoot of the product will be on a smartphone a realme 2 pro smartphone so uh, you know the excuse is not the main thing if you can't buy it make it and if you can't make it watch tutorials if you want to watch tutorials you can watch my channel my channel has a video uh, i mean more videos are coming on tutorials how to make softbox and whatever uh, stuff for photography so you can watch those there are also other very good channels that you know show you tutorials on how you can come up with low budget uh, high creativity concept you know so the thing is that uh, whatever equipment i'm going to show you now is uh, homemade I made them myself at my home and the first one is this one right here so this is nothing this is just a tungsten bulb inside this box and the box is covered with this translucent paper and I've added a stand so I can keep it like this and it just uh, gives you a warm tone like a tungsten bulb does and if you want to watch how I made this, I have a tutorial, uh, you might check it uh, in the description box, I will give the link to it. And uh, this is just a simple build, anyone can do it, there is no rocket science here. So just like that, I made another one. This is also a soft box, a, a bigger one. I used a PDA shear box for, to make this and attached a bulb holder right here. And inside this, there is a, okay, let me just show you inside this there is a LED bulb and this is uh, you know kind of um, you know just pressing paper uh, like that and it diffuses the light sprays the lights evenly so this is a uh, stuff that I use almost in all my videos let me show you another one here's another uh, these are two uh, you know USB light I made this power bank myself so I can just you know I can fit it anywhere you know in a narrow space so this one is white as you can see and this one is warm tone so just like that you know. then there is this RGB light source with a diffuser and I made this from a perfume can here's another this one is a strip light you know? kind of uh, illuminates in a very thin line and it, it is good for you know wine bottle photography or something like that where you know you need those sharp line reflection on the sides of the bottle or any glass product and also here's another soft box you can rotate it like this and it runs on LED so it's portable so now just like that simple stuff like this and you can shoot your own commercial stuff so back to the photograph stuff so there's gonna be two ways I'm gonna shoot the perfume um, one will be commercial grade uh, simple but you know straight to the point and the other one will be a bit creative uh, you know mostly for you know visual satisfaction so let's first start with the commercial one so I'm gonna use this glass plate as my base I know it's scratched but it does not matter because it wouldn't come in frame and even if it does it would look good because the way I'm gonna frame the shot so I'm gonna use two base okay so just the base now the lighting I will use the diffuser for this one because I want a white light to come out uh, RGB red green blue gives white light in combination 
So I'm gonna keep it right here. Now we're gonna use a background. Now I'll use some color powder. Um, I think I'll go with the green one because I think you know the red contrasts with the green. So let's go with the green one. I can waste it because I have only that much left so once the shoot is done I will have to put it back there so I will try not to waste any of that Okay, so I found a different rock this uh, because this one is kind of transparent you can see you can see my finger you know a bit translucent so the light can pass through this rock so I'm gonna keep this one. Like that and just some pearls here and there. Here's the camera and I, I'm using three lights right now one is at the below the soft box right here and a flashlight right here so let's add that um, um, tracing paper or that diffusion sheet on top of the soft box and add another light at the back to illuminate the color of the fluid so let's do Okay, so the first shoot is done. This is the second shoot. So what I'm gonna use is a stone um, to I don't know what this what are these just something uh, these are made of I don't know branches or something like that whatever. Now I'm gonna use just one. This time I'm gonna use this stone like this and then take the bottle. It has some green stain let me remove that and let's put the bottle right here I don't know how it looks anyway yeah this one looks better So here are all the shots in Photoshop. Now you can see that I've kept a phone as a backlight for to illuminate the liquid inside the perfume uh, to show its color. Now there are multiple shots like like this one is illuminating only the rock. This one is illuminating only the level. Uh, this is also for the liquid. Uh, same. And here's the composite shot with all the layers. So let me show you how it went. So this is the for the background layer. I chose this one as the background because it has some nice borders. Uh, the frame is in focus. You can see the resolution is also quite good. Um, keeping in mind it is shot on a smartphone camera, not a DSLR. So here's the first layer, the second layer, the third layer, the fourth layer, the level, and the sixth layer. So here are all the layers. Now it's time to color grade this one make it a bit uh, straight you can see this is um, slanted on the right uh, right side so let's do it
so these are the shots after the color grading and uh, the editing so this is what I've done with this one is um, this one is the commercial one um, both of them are kind of commercial one because they are simple but um, I just call this one the commercial one and uh, the other one just you know for portfolio or something like that so this one uh, I reduced the vibrance intentionally to make it look better I mean it looked better with low, lower vibrance um, I added smoke um, later I also added pulse which actually now looks good after the editing uh, the only thing that's off with this picture is that the interaction with the stone and the um, powder the color powder um, I know it's real but many of you might think that this is uh, fake or being done in edit uh, because you know there is no shadow this thing is illuminated um, there is no shadow and that's why it looks fake but okay that's okay um, we can fix that in Photoshop that's not a problem let's look at the other picture so this one is the other picture um, in this one there is more vibrance there is more saturation uh, there is also smoke but I have, uh, I have to come up with ways to merge the smoke with the picture so it doesn't look fake uh, right here it kind of looks fake because something happened here It um, I don't know why this line is so sharp I have to fix this in Photoshop um, but this one merged well um, I, I also tried to match the contrast of the um, smoke with the ambience of the image so this was the second one um, this one also looks good I also added some magenta colored powder um, maybe you can see right here on the rock here this one looks more realistic because you can see the shadow right here uh, the logo is also quite clear this one is done in Photoshop and also this highlights are looking good um, keeping in mind this is shot on a smartphone um, the resolution is not great but it looks good because if you are watching this in a um, smartphone or a tablet it looks fine when you are watching this on a big screen then it kind of cracks the i mean it doesn't crack uh, the resolution is 2k which is huge i mean quite good for the image but the problem is it you know it, when i zoom it it kind of becomes chocolatey you know what i mean by chocolatey let me show you you see you see uh, it is not getting pixelated but you know the computer is trying to you know um, um up enhance the image uh, so it looks um, it doesn't look pixelated uh, so what is happening is that it is trying to create its own pattern which looks artificial and kind of bloody that's why I called it like you know like molten chocolate kind of thing so that's the problem with uh, shooting on a smartphone but just you know like this it's all right so that's it for today I think I could uh, share some of my experience with you I know I'm not very professional in this line I am myself quite new but I just shared my experience with you uh, that there is no excuse of having a, a low budget or whatever if you have the things and you use it in the right way you can just come up with a good picture let me show you some of my other pictures I took on other day here's one here's another one this one's probably my favorite picture this idea is actually not mine uh, this is inspired from uh, another youtuber um, his name is I think you can see it on the screen I just forgot his name sorry um, he is a great guy um, like he has one of the most fantastic tutorials on YouTube right now on commercial photography check, so, uh, check him once you see this video uh, the link is given in the description so this one was just a practice shoot okay so this one is on uh, kind of I mean I went for like a club theme you know those night clubs you know, that kind of lighting that kind of a mood so that's what I tried to bring here you know, so I use uh, the computer seat where I um, sit the computer seat where I sit it has a kind of texture laser kind of texture which actually looks great on camera also made the bottle a little bit wet and this is the final picture it looks like this this one also and probably my favorite picture is this one um, this is actually the easiest picture I have uh, shot so far but also the most beautiful one because not only uh, it looks good because of the black and white contrast you know the combination of these water droplets um, the theme pure police it's a fragrance company and the texture of the 
um, perfume bottle and the seat has matched it hasn't totally matched uh, so that it looks transparent not like that but you know the pattern is almost same the texture is different but the pattern is same you know what I'm trying to say right here you see that's why this is one of the most uh, I mean this image has satisfied me a lot so i'm planning to shoot more images like this and share tutorials with you so that you can also learn how to come up with ideas like this so that's it for today uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye